Hey, 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 welcome back to Tirana, Albania. Uh, just kind of giving you my first thoughts. I'm actually walking through uh, Skanderberg Square, which I, I walked straight through on my way in. And, uh, you know, I've walked by it a few times, but I've actually never really just walked in it. Uh, so busy looking at other things and really I'm just trying to show you what this place is really like and uh, if it was just a normal day when this is a completely open Skanderberg Square I'd feel like yeah yeah I know that's the tourist thing right it's like pretty common thing to see on a YouTube channel but uh, they're doing something special this weekend you can see the Skanderberg in the, the rear there. And uh, I've seen this in a few videos where they do special things out here in the middle of the square. And that's one thing about Europe in general is they love their squares and they love to have things going on. And I suppose that's one of my favorite things about Albania. It just reminds me so much of the best of Europe, you know, when I'm going to, say, France or Italy, and people are just outside talking to each other and they're hanging out almost all day, it seems like. I don't, you know, I know everybody works really hard, but at the same time, there's always so many people out at the cafes, just hanging out on the corner, talking to each other. It's pretty incredible. So I don't know what they've got going on over here, but it looks like, uh, It looks like something. <laughs> Maybe we'll figure out what it is. So what are my first thoughts about this place? Well, obviously, as you saw in my last video, I, I love it. But the longer you're in a place, the more you notice little things that maybe you don't notice right away because you're enamored with being in a new country. At least this is the way I am because it just gives me so much energy and so much happiness to be in a new place. And I'm still kind of on that high. Here's a pretty interesting building. I don't know what it is, but some really nice paintings. This is probably the worst time of the day of the film, by the way, but I'm here, so. <laughs> it's a little overcast, so you might get some good video. But generally, middle, middle of the day, not a good time. But I'm heading out of here and going to uh, Duras then Vlore soon. And so I figured, hey, I'd get a little bit of view and let you know how, what it was really like here. Uh, the people are wonderful. You know, for the most part, I just... It's just one of the greatest reasons for coming here. It's just to be around people who are going about their lives uh, I saw two people just embracing each other on my way here separately, you know, just happy to see each other, those types of things. Yeah, it's just, if you're coming from somewhere that's kind of locked down or full of fear, then it's just a nice place to come because it feels like people are living in the way that we have been for centuries. I'm sure you get a, a look at the people around me. You know, they're just doing their thing. A lot of university students. Uh, uh, maybe I'll walk back the same way I came in, just for a little more people watching. <laughs> I don't want to blow it out of proportion. I mean, this is like the poorest country in Europe and the people here will tell you that. In fact, I was just talking to somebody at the bank yesterday and uh, they, were, they were talking about that. I was like, this is the poorest country in Europe. If you get a couple of miles out of the center of the city, you're going to see some real poverty. But one thing they did agree is as much as these people are poor, I'll let you hear this for a second. 
Ohne ohne Arbeit. There's not a lot of crime. And you're going to hear that uh, over and over and over from people who come here. It's just not something you really have to worry about much. Uh, as far as what I've seen and what I've heard, I never feel any fear around here. And a lot of people ask about that when it comes to Albania, and I just, I, I personally just don't see it. I don't see anybody walking around here with a lot of anxiety. And I think that's the kind of the biggest takeaway and that I brought up in the last video too, is just the lack of anxiety. And it's kind of uh, so nice to be in a place like that. Now, as far as, uh, you know, homeless and whatnot, in the center of city, you're, you're really not seeing that. Uh, but there are a few people begging and interestingly enough, it's uh, more women. Whereas where I'm from in California, it's almost always men. You do see an occasional woman, but here it's uh, usually kind of uh, a little bit elderly, not, not old women. They just walk by and they'll just hold their hands out. And then the men that I'm seeing uh, are generally injured or they have some sort of you know muscular dystrophy or uh, something. I've seen several people without any limbs. Now this is very unusual. I mean, I'm not saying I see this on every corner or anything, but maybe twice since I've been in the city. So But it's nothing like San Francisco. I mean, well, what place is really? I mean, it's what you would think of as like a war-torn place of what I'm what I see in San Francisco these days. It's it's beyond anything I've seen in any other country. Well, I guess it's just a little different because I have seen greater poverty, that's for sure. But uh, just the people in the middle of the city just spread out in tents. Uh, I have not seen that anywhere else. Uh, comment if you there's another place that's kind of like that. I know LA has some of that. I mean, I used to live, uh, I'm from LA, so I know about that, but uh, nothing like San Francisco or uh, Berkeley area. Another thing is there's a lot of new construction here. Um, this is new here, this big building behind me. It may be hard to see with the sun. Uh, there's another one, Eyes of Tirana. This is enormous. I'm not sure if that's going to be an office building or if it's going to be uh, both. Maybe office and living, I'm not sure, but it's huge. And then over here we've got this huge building, which looks like an office building, but it, it's hard to tell at this point. And then if you look way in the distance over here, I'll try and zoom in. You see this older building that's really tall behind this one? I believe that's where I'll be staying. I think second to the top floor. I think I got that for a month. So that will make an excellent place to fly my drone out of. And uh, yeah, I splurged a little, but it's still half, it's still half the cost for a month as uh, my rent in California, which is completely splurging in an almost ridiculous way. Uh, and and yet you still get, you know, I mean, can you imagine overlooking this city? Uh, how much that would cost in say a California or New York? So I'll admit, this is a super basic video. It's not anything exciting or different. Uh, it's just basic. It's just, these are the way people are living around here. They're walking around and they're enjoying their lives. 
I'm sure as this channel grows, it's gonna get more and more specific. So I just wanted to kind of have a little fun, you know, and just kind of be here and uh, do some of that before everything starts getting, you know, oh, the blue eye or oh, you know, this attraction or that attraction. You know, maybe I'll stick with that for this channel. It's just kind of a, kind of how things really are. And so you let me know what you would like to know about Albania that maybe most channels aren't covering. All right, I'll see you in the next one.